Jack Bond may be 82, but he's not ready to hang up his spurs just yet. He takes his responsibility seriously as a gardien, one of the traditional French cowboys who have been upholding local traditions and culture around here for generations. The gardien have to go in among the cattle and with great skill and dexterity manage to separate the animal that they want. Mounted on the white, semi-wild horses of the region, they're a national icon, but there are only around 40 of them left. Jacques, second in command, has already been told by his two sons that they won't be following in their father's footsteps. I was a bit disappointed because I wanted to be able to pass on what I've learned to them. But everyone has their own passion in life and it's up to them to follow it in their own way. Everyone in France knows about the Camargue, a marshy outback where the men are tough and so are the mosquitoes. The chance to see this traditional outdoors lifestyle draws thousands of visitors every year. But the Camargue is also a fragile ecosystem and environmentalists worry about the impact of tourism, which they say is driven more by mythology than real life. In France, when people think of the Camargue, this, they are thinking of something which doesn't exist anymore for, for many centuries. They are thinking of wild nature with wild horses, wild bulls, but their reality is completely different. All these horses and bulls are, are managed, are used by, by people. But for Jacques Bourne, it's this management and the tourism that's kept the Camargue alive. He's turned his ranch into a luxury hotel. But his animals are still a business, not a tourist attraction. The horse is indispensable for our work. With animals like this, they aren't domesticated. They're wild beasts. For these gardiens, the future looks secure. Jacques' son is already taking up the family business. But keeping it going in today's Camargue could be as much about managing tourists as wild horses. <laughs>